Right, this is how to take apart the, well, take off the centre console in a Volkswagen Polo. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to take the radio out. And there's normally a tray here, but I took the tray out. Ready. So that just pulls out. You grab it from underneath, pull it out. Um, this all just comes out. There's a lot of wires here, you probably won't have these if it's a stock Polo. Um, yeah, so gonna want to get all this out. Okay. Uh, you're gonna want to unplug a couple of cables off the back of your radio if it won't pull out that far. Just pull them to the side, and then you grab the majority through. I'm gonna take this off first, which just pulls off your end. Got to get a good grip on it. There you go, that's just got the clips on that end, two there, two there. Straight on, simple. So that's off now. You don't have to remove this. There's two screws underneath which you, you could move if you want. It just makes it a bit more manoeuvrable when you come to take the actual thing off. Next, you are probably going to want to get these out. Because these are the, well, that isn't. You can probably just prise that out if you don't have a switch on it. But yeah, you can get that out pretty simple. In order to get this uh, cup holder out, there's a there's like a little a little clip inside. You got this out. Sometimes it helps if you open it up. There's a clip on the side and one underneath, but you can't really get to that one. So normally. Once you've unclipped this, it decides to come out, but not today. Sometimes handy to have some screwdrivers like this, which are which is small, but you can get slightly larger ones, which probably that one would be better. Which are just sometimes a bit easier to prise this stuff out with. So okay. Right, okay, after playing about with it for a minute, I've just pushed it in and the whole thing slides out. There's a clip here which goes on the get a bit closer. Here which goes on the side. Uh which I was pushing before as it goes like that. And then there's a clip on the bottom as well, which I told you you can't really reach. But it's like it sits in there and that's just a pain to get at, so that's the next part off. Okay, these are next, which you can just poke out with something blunt. You just gotta. Sometimes you can push them, but these are a bit, a bit reluctant to come out. So uh, just make sure you don't drop anything down there, because there's a screwdriver down there which I dropped a while ago. I just haven't got it back, and you could potentially cause a rattle in that. That's really annoying, then. This switch is really easy, it just, just pops out from the back, the same as the other ones. You, well, you can do this with your hand really, and then you just got to depress a little little clip here, and that will just pull out then. Um, on this model, that's the, the heated rear window, so you just got to remember that the brown is the heated rear window. Uh, this one's the same, you just push it from the back, grab it, you'll grab this part, you just depress the little clip on the back. And then remember pink is hazards and push that back through as well. Okay, so next is this tray on the top which you have to get out because there's two screws behind. So for this I'm gonna use one of these, which is like a paint scraper type thing. Um, you might want to put it in some tissue or something like that. Just to like avoid scratching your trim. You all right now, once you've you've popped that off with that tool, you gotta be careful because you can you can really damage the, the edges. So you, you might want to find something a bit better than that, but it's, it just clips from behind. There's two two clips, one there, which is just on the back, and one the other end, which go in there and there. Okay, so now you've got all that off, you're gonna want to unclip any of these. Uh, auxiliary items you've got like a voltmeter. Okay, so the next part after you've unwired everything, you've got to undo all the screws. 
there are two two screws down there in the back, one outside as well. Um, there's two in the back here, which you can probably just about see. There they are, two there. They're torque screws, and there's two in the top. And there's also one there next to the heater dial, and one the other side. So, yep. Right, with the, the two screws at the back down there and the one screw in there and the one screw in there, you're gonna want and you're gonna need an extension for your, for your screwdriver. And also you really don't want to drop one of those screws because it's like an endless abyss in which you will never get the screw back. So Okay, so I just disconnected my radio for ease of access, and now once all the screws are out, this should be loose and want to come off. So there you go. Uh, this is the complicated part. Now, this part in the bottom wants it to stop coming off, and you just give it a bit of a wiggle. Okay, now everything's loose. You can take this off. Pass the wires through the back, and there you go. Oh, use my gauge. Center console removed. Uh, this is the the new one that I'm putting in for reassembly. I've just realised that you're going to want to unscrew these two screws underneath, as it won't fit that. It won't clip onto this. I'm trying. I just have to push it. Oh, no, oh, there you go. I just pushed it on. That's on now. You, you got to make sure that these are clicked on, otherwise, you're not going to have a good time. Okay, so once all the screws are back in, you've got all your wires back where you need them. Uh, you're going to want to put your radio back in. So, if I was you, I'd try and keep it as neat as possible behind because. Okay, and then you can just slide this up. Make sure there's nothing behind it. And pop that on. Then put your radio back together. This is just temporary because I'm, I'm, I'm painting the other one, so it's looks really sketchy for now, but I'm sure you will look better eventually. Okay, so once you put everything back together, you can turn your ignition on, make sure everything is like, isn't exposed to see if it works. There you go, we have life. So we got the. Oh, I unplugged it so. The lights work, we're all good. So there you go, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helped. I haven't put the top in yet. Oops. Um, is that it? That's the one. In fact, that can stay out because I'm going to be changing it soon anyway, so.